The space shuttle Atlantis has blasted off on a risky mission to repair the Hubble telescope. For the first time, NASA has a rescue shuttle on standby in case something goes wrong. The Atlantis mission lifted off without a hitch, but the greatest risks for the seven astronauts on board this ambitious mission lie ahead. During five spacewalks over 11 days, the astronauts will repair the Hubble Space Telescope, which is in desperate need of an overhaul. We have never tried to repair an instrument like this in one of these EVAs, but taking things apart and putting in circuit boards uh, when you're an astronaut wearing gloves, it's, uh, it's a little dicey. The Hubble telescope was launched in 1990, but it immediately ran into problems. A defective mirror made it near useless, and it was three years before NASA was able to fix it. Since then, it's taken incredible images of deep space and beamed them back to Earth, changing scientists' understanding of the universe. On this fifth and final repair mission, astronauts will install a new camera and more powerful batteries, designed to extend the telescope's life by up to eight years. But this mission is riskier than most. There's a possibility the shuttle and the astronauts could be hit by debris from two satellites that collided earlier this year. And the shuttle's high orbit means it couldn't get to the International Space Station before the crew ran out of air and food. That's why NASA has a second shuttle ready to launch a rescue mission. NASA's never prepared a second shuttle for rescue duty. This is unprecedented in that sense. But if the mission succeeds, the Hubble Space Telescope will be 90 times more powerful than when it was built. In the United States, Nicole Strawn, 10 News.